Is this thing on? Is it working? Can you all hear me? I hope you can. Technology sucks. Life sucks. But technology sucks. And you know what? It doesn't. I don't know what I'm saying. My brain is all over the place like it is half the time in the world. And today is just one of those days that a girl goes through when I'm empty inside. I don't want to take it out on you. Remember that Diddy from the 90s? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Ray Haybauer. Just wanted to thank you guys for being a part of this channel. I appreciate you. I love you. I truly do. Even for the naysayers or the, the haters or whatever you want to call them, I appreciate you guys because if you're even watching my videos and trolling me or making fun of me, guess what? You're still watching me. So somewhere I have a little place in your heart, good or bad, the Grinch or not. But there it is. Um, I needed to talk. So that's why I'm making this video. Because, uh, unfortunately, I have an overactive brain and a lot of things go through my head. And there's always need changes that need to be made in life. I made a anxiety files the other day live where I needed to talk and disappear for a little bit, but I'm not able to do that today at the moment, and I'm still upset that I didn't get you guys a happy alien podcast in the last week due to various reasons, and I don't really need to explain them all, but it's just, it was a work in progress when I told you the first week, it was a work in progress, because I got to learn the timing, I got to learn how to do routines, I got to learn whatever my limited technology capabilities are. I have to work on timing with guests. Then I also got to work on formats of the show and basically learning how to be a producer and do it all myself. Um, then on top of that, when struggles come through, like YouTube censoring every video for whatever the words, even when I try to avoid those words or whatever on YouTube, you know, where I use paraphrases like K-I-L-L -L or this or that. You know, I use those type of phrases. Every single video gets flagged. Then I have to make them review it. And the early stages of the video coming out is when it gets the most views. Therefore, I'm hoping to make $5 a video. You know, <laughs> and 1,000 and views or maybe 1,500 views would do like 10 or 8 bucks according to the CPM. So if a 1,000 views I can get, that's probably 5 bucks. But I haven't been able to even make the 5 bucks. You know, after putting in whatever work that I can put in, I know it's not the best way to work. It's not as professional, but it is still work. <laughs> I'm just doing it badly. Uh, but yeah, so it's not able to make even the $5 so then I have to rely on super chats and merchandise sales, you know, during the live stream or whatever. And that's if I don't have any internet issues or technology issues. And that hasn't been happening as well. Um, it hasn't been creating the last two or three episodes hasn't been creating a lot of um, like super chats or merchandise sales, you know, due to various reasons. Again, it's not on you guys to support and all that. If you can do it, you can. But I, I need to, I, I'm limiting my audience and the format is not working. The format is not working where I, I have a guest on, whether they need to be bigger or better. That's up to anybody's opinion. But sometimes I just want to meet people. I don't care who is available that week. I want to have them as a guest. Um, and there will be bigger, you know, actor, guest in the future as more of my communications are answered on social media or DMs. But in summary, what I'm trying to explain is I made it for members only, you know, the original interviews with the guest whenever they're available. And I keep limiting my audience when I do that. Then I would do the podcast, you know, a few days later where I would give my opinion and I'd show photos and description of a bunch of things or videos. And I know you guys enjoy that, but I'm thinking I have to change the format because I've been limiting my audience, you know, especially with the guest. I need to do the guest thing, but it doesn't always need to be an interview. For special guests in the future, it'll be interviews. But for some 
Other times, I don't want to really be an interview type situation. I want it to be like a co-host for that week situation where these popular guests or people are kind of like not only being interviewed, that they're actually talking about the topics of pop culture, conspiracies, aliens, or, you know, latest news or political commentary, whatever it is. I want these guests to also be a part of that conversation as like a co-host for that episode while being interviewed. And I need to do it publicly instead of limiting it, putting it behind a paywall. But again, I'm still going to get censored from YouTube, but at least I open up my audience when I do go live. Because instead of, if it's for members only, I might get 10, 15 members that log into that live interview stream. But if I made it public, then at least 50, 60, 70 people maybe might log on and watch it all together at once. And then th there's another situation. What days do I do it? Friday, Saturdays, the weekend when people are available? Or do I do it on my schedule when I wake up like a vampire? Again, so many questions as of producing a podcast. And I can't afford producers and all these other people. But what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm having to change up formats. And it sucks this is a podcast killer when you do it seven episode gin. But for the long term success of this idea and me having a podcast, this is going to have to happen. I'm just going to have to make it public with the interviews or them as a co host as well. I might not have graphics on screen because my computer cannot have people on screen and show graphics and pictures you know, without damaging my technology, where we just have a conversation. But we talk about these subjects without all the bells and whistles. And then we do it publicly. That seems what needs to happen for me. Um, so I'm working on that behind the scenes. So I don't know if I'm going to get you guys a happy alien podcast this week, again, for the second week in a row. Um, but it, it's not going anywhere. But I'm also going to have to open it up to other sources, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcast, audio versions. I don't know how to do all that. Um, it's a lot of work. I'm going to have to put in a, a little bit more work. I'm going to have to create a Rumble account or whatever these uh, alternative platforms are. And then I got to start cutting up clips. And ooh, it just boggles my mind. Because in my opinion, I'm already doing too much work for myself because I can't really handle it. But now I have to add on all this other work. But that being said, that's what's going through my head. And I wish I would have ha had all this understood before I did the first episode. But problems arise and you have to deal with it as they come. And YouTube is a platform that um, is just sometimes not working. So that's why, you know, we have to rely on Super Chats, um, merchandise, and everything else because it is just not working, especially for the small amount of views that I get on most of my videos. Um, but there it is. I don't want to talk about it anymore. just want to let you guys know I still love you. I appreciate you. And um, let's just quickly mention some topics that I wanted to talk about on the Happy Aliens podcast that I haven't done yet so far. Um, maybe we'll have one this week. I might have a co-host that was on a show before, and we're just going to do a podcast and talk and about stuff. But um, I'll figure that out in the coming days. But for now, I just want, quickly wanted to mention, like, what's going on in terms of, you know, all the, their testing systems. They're literally testing systems, guys. Um, apparently, we had a Facebook and Instagram hacking or solar flare, or outage, or whatever the mainstream media wants to say it is, just happened, and people are freaking out, going, what's going on, I thought I got hacked, my Facebook got hacked, and then they're like, woo, I'm back to social media, but like a week or two ago, we had the AT&T cell phone system outage, and now a Facebook Instagram outage for like, I don't know, like 12 hours or whatever it might have been, they're testing things, okay? 
I don't know what they're testing for. I don't know what the final agenda is. But, you know, it's like the movie Leave the World Behind. If you watch that movie, some sort of attack is happening on the infrastructure of America. Whether it be Chinese or this or that or from our shelves. I mean, they are calling it the New World Order. They're calling it the Great Reset. You know, there's so many things that we just don't know what's happening. But we do know they're building bunkers. Um, we do know that. They're building, the elites are building bunkers and stuff like that. And they're preparing for something. And these type of situations that are happening, these are test. Because every major event that happens, even school stuff and other events like that, there's always drills and practices like a week before or two days before, or sometimes in the Boston Marathon, there's an event happening or a drill happening at the same time. <laughs> same thing as 9-11. That's right. There was drills happening at the same time as 9-11. <laughs> People were like, what are you talking about? Uh, go back and get some information. Do your research. Um, but yeah, the American military and the Air Force and all that, they were told to fly to Canada to do drills with all of their F-14 jets. And then 9-11 then happened. So no American on the East Coast, not many American military aircraft was available to go or up in the air when all that happened. Hey, what's the best way to do an event? Hey, let's make sure all these people are far away so they can't catch us when we bring in our own stuff. And we do the event, and then that way they're 10, 15, 20 minutes away. So we can go in, nobody's around, we do our stuff, and we get on out of there. Then they come back, oh, what happened? Hey, it was people with a knife cutter. Just saying, do your research. But uh, th that being said, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's pretty interesting, but that's stuff I wanted to talk about on Maybe I'll talk about it on the future Happy Alien podcast. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, what form it'll be in, but we're going to talk like that. Um, so there it is. That's it for today's video. Uh, I think there were some questions from some of you guys that I read. Um, oh, some people were asking. I did a podcast like a week or two ago where I just told all my experiences 100%. And um, people are asking, what was the name of the podcast? I, I don't know. It's, it's my friend's new podcast. Um, and I forgot the name. But he told me he was going to cut it all up and do clips and stuff like that. You know, he's probably putting together like five or six podcasts in a row to have all that stuff ready. But I promise you guys, once it's available, I'll either share a clip with you guys or let you guys know in a future video. So you guys can go out and watch it. Plus, I do have other podcasts, you know, that I've done with other people that supported and helped me where they wrote, um, just search my name, like Michael Ray Bauer, Donkey Lips Podcast. And then I'm sure when I did a guest appearance or, or whatever for them, I'm sure those podcasts will come up. Just search Google or, or eBay or something like that. Um, and sometimes you'll hear some of the stories that you guys never even knew that I've never said whether it be on, on my YouTube channel or not. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, I got a lot of thinking to do, <laughs> which I do every day. Now, I actually got to go go do some exercise and get my mind a little bit better because I've been struggling. So, And then I got to fast. I got, I got to not eat food for like a day and a half or something. I don't know what's been bothering me. I thought I'd been eating healthy, but something's going on. So I'm going to get to it. I just wanted to thank you guys for listening to this entire video. Uh, please hit the thumbs up, the like, the subscribe button. Consider donating, super chatting, becoming a member for exclusive future content. And I got to work on the members only section as well. I got I got to figure out a new th a few new things for that. And I'm just gonna have to go separately live, you know. But it's just me. It's hard to get me in a routine. It's really hard. It's really hard. Hey, if you guys stayed this long in the video. For a chance to win um, something from my merchandise store, right down below. Number 12 is my favorite. And then I let you know, that lets me know you watch the entire video. And then I'll put you in a contest for the next 
at the end of this month to win something from my merchandise store. That being said, I love you guys. And whatever anxiety, stress, whatever you deal with as well, it's tough. It's tough. But get out, get some exercise, get some sun, take your vitamins, drink a lot of water, and um, calm the F down. Better days ahead. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay blessed, and remember, hate can't hurt happy. So be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Easier said than done. <laughs>